Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is Black Magic's ATM Mini. This is essentially a little control box that you attach to your computer that allows you to then input multiple cameras at once and control them on the fly. Now this is essentially aimed at content creators and streamers to basically up their level of content creation and the way they stream to create a more interesting stream. And I thought the concept was pretty interesting, so I wanted to try it out at a basic level, which is what I'm going to talk to you about as I go through this unboxing and setup and show you how I've used it. It is very easy to access and fantastic in a number of different ways. I must admit, I was quite intimidated when I first looked at it and saw all the different buttons on it. And then when I started to dive into the manual, which is like a thousand pages long, and watched videos on it that I'll link to in the description, there are some very detailed videos on YouTube by much better people than me. One by Zebra Zone that is like an hour long that shows you the sheer power of this thing and its bigger brother, the ATM Mini Pro, that are well worth looking at. This thing is really powerful in a number of different ways. At a basic level though, you can connect up to four DSLR cameras or four HDMI sources, so you can do all sorts of things with it. I've got three DSLRs that I wanted to use all at once to then be able to cut between different scenes on a live stream on Twitch. I uh, don't know if you've seen, if you've not checked it out already, I'm streaming on Twitch semi-regularly at the moment and you want to use this control box to basically do live unboxings of gear, mice, headsets, whatever else. And I thought it'd be really cool to be able to use my cameras instead of webcams and to be able to switch between those cameras on the fly to give you a different view. And that's what this control box does at a basic level. It's really cool. You plug the cameras in via HDMI connection on the rear. You then connect the box to your PC via USB-C and that then works in Streamlabs OBS or OBS Classic. A video capture source, which is essentially the Blackmagic ATM Mini is seen as a webcam and then you can pull that in and then basically siphon through the video from the DSLR cameras into OBS that way and then put it on your stream. Really cool. Here you can see it in action where you can actually get picture in picture mode. So I've got a picture in picture from one camera and then another camera that I'm using. So you can actually see the live view of what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And you can switch between the three cameras by just simply pressing the buttons. And I'll show you the process of that as well. You can also do things like live transitions and other things. There are some drawbacks to it obviously the box itself is fairly expensive and having multiple DSLR cameras is pretty niche you're probably not going to do that however you can just use it with a single DSLR camera and the other HDMI source could be your PC or a laptop there the box itself is very flexible and as I said I'll link to other videos by Epos Vox and Zebra Zone, things like that that will show you just how many different ways this can be used but at a very basic level it's fantastic because you can just plug it in press those buttons one two three four that switches between the different cameras hit cut or auto and go through different transitions select picture and picture mode and all sorts there's also a software that comes along with it that you can dive into where you can adjust the size of the picture in picture so for example picture in picture can be in each four corners but standard is pretty tight here I've gone into the software and I've made it larger that's possible to do there are some guides on setting up macros when you start looking at the software and all the potential th tweaks that you can do within the software it becomes incredibly powerful as well there are some minor niggles with it that are worth noting though this box only handles 1080p signal so I've got 4k cameras capable of capturing 4K footage, but when they go through the box, that signal only comes out as 1080p into your machine. Not necessarily an issue if you're just streaming, because obviously streaming to Twitch is something you're only gonna do 720p, 1080p anyway, so it's not a major drama. However, if you've got high-end cameras and then you're dropping the f quality down a bit, then could be a problem. And if you're using it for recording purposes, perhaps that's a niggle. I actually thought it was fine. I thought it was really good for this setting and because it's streamed at a lower quality anyway it doesn't really matter but there are some other benefits too so 
this has an HDMI out as well as HDMI in, so you can use a monitor. So for example, I'm using my 20, I was using my 27 inch monitor as a HDMI output, so I could see what I was capturing, or obviously you could watch it through OBS as you're capturing it and streaming it as well. So this is how I was using it. And then you get to see what you're recording at the time and get a much clearer picture of it, which is really nice. And the end result was pretty nifty too. It went through all these different transitions live on there. One other problem I did notice is that sometimes if you've got the settings wrong on the camera, you'd see them displayed on the feed. For example, you can see my camera settings and the autofocus settings there. Also things like zebra crossings on the preview. So it's all little niggles that you sort of have to learn. There is a learning curve with this device where you have to make sure those sort of things don't show up on the stream because obviously you don't want histograms and zebra markings to show that you're overexposed and things like that appearing on the stream itself. So minor points. But I think the box itself, if you're looking to up your stream game and improve it, then this is well worth considering. And I want one and I think that's proof that it's a good thing. If ever I feel like there's a device that I actually want to spend the money and buy because I'm going to have to return this unfortunately then that's a testament to how good it is and I've seen just the sheer power of it just had a taste of what it's like the pro version which is a bit better you can stream straight from that box so that takes away some of the processing power that's necessary feeding it through so you could just put in some cameras and literally just go live on Twitch or YouTube from that box by plugging it straight into the internet through ethernet cable or connecting it to your PC and doing it that way. The mini, you can't, but you can put it out to OBS and Streamlabs OBS. And there's so many different ways to use it as well. As I said, you don't have to have four HDMI cameras. You could have one and then another source could be a games console or a PC. The, the possibilities are endless and for something so simple that makes such a big difference and it's a really interesting bit of kit. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out the other videos in the description because those guys go into a hell of a lot more detail and show you just how powerful this thing is. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this and have a great life.